What's up guys, it's Raven and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I personally straighten my hair now that it's short and I'm also going to throw a few straightened short hair hairstyles at the end of the video because I have three hairstyles that I've tried with my straightened short hair so I'll include some pictures of those at the end of the video and if you would like a detailed tutorial on any of those hairstyles just leave a comment below and I'll try to make a separate video for you um, but in this video I'm just going to show you how I personally straighten my hair so stay tuned and thanks for watching okay so I use two flat irons because I have shorter hair in the back and longer hair in the front and on the top so I use a tiny flat iron and a normal sized one so, this is my small one. I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's called Plugged In. It looks like this. It's, it came in like zebra print and all these different fun colors. I got the pink one with the rhinestones because you know I love pink. And it's like one centimeter in diameter. Um, so it's really small and it helps get these really short hairs in the back. Um, I would not be able to straighten my hair without this tiny flat iron. It's super helpful. And I think this was around 20 bucks at Sally's. So this is really, really helpful. And then I use my regular like one inch size flat iron. This one is um, a ceramic plated flat iron. Ceramic ion styling iron. Automatic sense control system. And it's one of the ones where you can adjust the temperature so it goes all the way up to 450 degrees or you can put it as low as 140 degrees. I usually have it on 370 so kind of like a mid-range. And this is FHI. It's like a knockoff of a chi iron and I've had this for so long as you can see it's pretty like old and crusty um, but it still works and I don't even know where it's from but I'm sure you all know where you can find a good flat iron. If not, YouTube it because there will be plenty of other videos on flat irons. So I only use two products when I'm straightening my hair. The first product is this heat protecting spray. And I just use this one because this is the one I found. I don't really have a special preference on um, protective sprays. I think they all do a pretty good job. Um, as long as you use one, it doesn't really matter to me. This one is Beyond the Zone. Turn up the heat and it just protects your hair from the heat of the flat iron and makes it so you don't burn your hair to a crisp. Um, it's kind of got an oily consistency um, but it doesn't make your hair too oily so I like this one. This one's from Sally's. And then when I'm done straightening my hair um, and especially if the weather is humid I'll use a hairspray and I use Garnier Fertis. It's um, ultra strong number four um, but it's the one that won't make your hair too crispy. You'll still be able to run your fingers through. You'll still be able to move it and shake it all around just like you want to because it doesn't harden your hair to like ramen noodle hair. Um, so I really like this one. So first, I'm just going to take my hair down, obviously. So, this is my hair, happy, natural, and free. Um, obviously, I had it in a little braid in the front, so it has a more controlled wave to it. So, but as you can see in these other parts, it's quite curly and fluffy. And then I have my relaxed and bleached ends, which do not like to cooperate. But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step after, you know, letting my hair go. Oh, by the way, this is freshly washed hair. I washed it this morning and let it air dry. I put a little bit of this heat protectant spray on it um, earlier in the day just so I could, you know, I put it on when it was like fresh out of the shower so it could like soak in and everything throughout the day. And um, so now I'm just going to put a second coat of it on right before I strain my hair. You don't want to put a whole, whole lot because, like I said, this has an oily consistency. So you don't want your hair to be oily and greasy, but um, a little will go a long way. I just use my regular bristle brush with the um, plastic bristles. 
Start at the ends of your hair and work your way in. Having short hair, there's not a whole lot to brush, so this usually goes by pretty fast, which I like. Because I remember having long hair, um, it would take me forever to untangle my hair just to get through all of the length. And then it's gonna look real fluffy like this if you have hair like me. It's gonna be nice and detangled. With short hair like this, you usually don't have a lot of extra hair that can get in the way while you're straightening. Um, like if you have long hair, you usually have to clip all your hair up out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of the hair that you're working on. But my hair is so short, as you can see, it pretty much stands up out of the way. But if I ever need to lose some hair out of the way, I just take these little claw clips and kind of twist my top of my hair up and clip it so that I look like an idiot while I work on straightening the back of my hair because I always start with the back and start with the bottom, work my way up, then I do the sides and then I do the top longer part with my big flat iron. So I've had my little flat iron um, turned on and it heated up quite nicely. This one doesn't have any temperature dial so it just gets extremely hot no matter what. Um, and then I take my finer tooth comb and I comb out sections starting with the back bottom of my hair and I just start straightening. Sometimes it's really hard to see what you're doing um, and which makes it a lot easier to burn yourself back here because you can't really see how close you're getting to your skin but Hopefully, you don't burn yourself too bad. Pull out little sections with my fingers since it's so short. Just hold out little sections with my hands and flat iron with the other hand. And I kind of curl my flat iron in like this to give my hair kind of a slight curl. It gives it more body. If I were to just straighten it straight out, it would look crazy. So I kind of curl it under just by a flick of the wrist and you don't want to hold the flat iron over your hair too long just quickly slide over it so that you're not damaging your hair and I don't know if you can see that but that little section right there is straight and I just keep working my way up also be really careful around your ears because your ears are so easy to burn Once you um, have done quite a bit of your hair and you're feeling around in the back of your hair to try to feel the curly spots and it starts getting kind of hard to feel which spots you've missed or which spots you've gotten already, you can take a hand mirror like this and just hold it up to your bathroom mirror so that you can see the back of your head and just look at the back of your head and see which spots you've missed. So I've missed some spots in the middle. And go back with your flat iron and get those spots. Then I just keep working my way up. I'm starting to get to the part where my hair is a little bit longer so I can switch over to my bigger flat iron.
It's silly to use a small flat iron. It just takes longer when you're working with longer hair. So I switch over to my bigger one and just keep doing the same thing, combing it out with the fine tooth comb and then straightening it. Usually when I straighten my hair, I don't wear a sweater like this. I usually am still in my bra if I'm still getting ready or I'm wearing a tank top because I get really hot with all the heat coming from my straightener. Um, I actually can start to sweat sometimes because of how hot it gets. And you don't want to um, start sweating and then ruin your hair as you're working on it. So just make sure you keep yourself cool. I'm still bumping my ends under, so slightly adding a, a curl to it, flick of the wrist so that it's curled under a little bit. So I'm at the point where I've done mostly all of the short parts of my hair. I've completely done the back. And then I've done most of the work on the sides of my hair. Um, but the very front parts of my hair right here, I need to go in with my smaller flat iron again. So I'm pulling out this one again and I'm going to really straighten and flatten down the sides because I like for them to almost look shaved kind of from far away. Like I want them to be very flat and like tapered down to the sides of my head because obviously I don't want to look like Bozo the Clown and have hair, you know, sticking out from the sides of my head. So I want to really flatten these parts down. So I'm going in with my little sh little um, flat iron and straightening them more straight down instead of um, curling them over. I'm just doing it straight down. So my hair used to be cut so that it would fit around my ear, like it wouldn't hang over my ear because it was cut up to where my ear started. Um, but now it has already grown out, so I kind of tuck it behind my ear a little bit and then just flatten the front parts down. And I put hairspray right here sometimes if it won't stay down. And when you're straightening your hair and you want it to stay in a certain place, right after you take off the straightener from your hair, hold it down how you want it to be so that it cools off in the position that you want it to be and it will stay like that better. So for example, if I take this part and I straighten it down, then I hold it down until it cools off so that it stays like that. And voila, it doesn't fly back up. So there's one side of my hair done. So I've completely finished the back and the sides and I'm about to move on to this clipped up part right here. I'm going to continue working um, in the back of my head, so this little section that's still kind of short back here, I don't know if you can see that, but I have a little section right here that I'm going to start working on first, and then I'll move my way up to the main part up here. So I'm just going to leave this main part um, clipped up. And I'm um, starting to get to the point of my hair where I still have relaxed ends and I have some color damage, some bleached um, hair. Like all the hair that I've already straightened is completely like virgin hair. Like it's all like new growth so it hasn't been relaxed and it has never been colored. So it's really nice and easy to straighten and it's all silky and wonderful. But now I'm starting to get to the point of my hair where I still have some parts that have been colored and relaxed and they're like really crusty and bad so I have to be more careful and straighten the heck out of them because they do not like to cooperate. Okay, so now I have that little 
back of my hair section done so now I really only have the top part left to do as you can see it's much longer than any other part of my hair um, so I will just I wear it over to this side the left side so my haircut is made to where I could really wear it over to either side but I just prefer to have it over to the left side so I start on the left side and I part off sections starting you know kind of like underneath on the left side and then work my way up so I just take my little comb and part off a section underneath and then clip the rest of it out of the way So once I start getting to the very top of my hair and I start working with the parts that really fall in the front, I kind of feather the hair away from my face so that it kind of has a sweeping motion going back. Like you can kind of see, I did one layer like that. So curl it under and pull away from your face. Let go, fix the shape of it and let it cool off in that shape. Okay, so right now I just finished straightening my hair, but as you can see, my hair has a lot of volume to it, especially on the sides, and it kind of creates this fat mushroom shape, which I really don't like. So I'm gonna go back and basically flatten down the parts that need to be flattened, and um, fix the front part. So I'm just gonna spray hairspray and kind of slick down the sides. Sometimes I'll use a bristle brush like this to really slick them down. So I'm just brushing down the sides. Especially on this side since this is the shorter side. I really want it to be like flattened down and since like I said it's growing out I have to like tuck it behind my ear. I want to take some of the volume out from right here. So I'm going to brush it. So right now you're seeing the finished product of my straightened hair. So like I said I would just finish it off with some hairspray just to keep everything in place and keep the humidity from getting to it. And yeah, I just kind of swoop it back like this a little bit, kind of, I always touch my hair so I kind of just mess with it. And I put a bobby pin right here, and I put a bobby pin right here in this lighting. You really can't even see the bobby pin, but there's a bobby pin right here. I don't know if you can see that. Just to keep this side down because like I said, it's getting longer and it doesn't like to stay tucked behind my ear and flat like this. So I have to pin it down right here. And the same thing is right here. It's just enough to tuck behind my ear, but it doesn't stay. So I just put a pin right here. And they're this they're they're brown bobby pins, so they're not super noticeable. So I think it's okay. But yeah, so that's the finished look. Um I hope you learned something. I know a lot of people were just um curious of how I did it. So I decided to put this video out for you guys. And yeah, it's nothing too special, just pretty basic. I part my hair in a side part. Yeah, so that's my straightened hair. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.